Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough 6 dash castle well 6 dash pyramid sandy shrine and it does indeed have a secret exit like all the other castle pyramids oh forget it <laughs> beware of squishiness for like any shrine it is riddled with traps left and right oh yes and pokies left and right those are in every shrines they have to be it's mandatory. There's regulations by law regarding the use of pokies. Bang those fish. <laughs> when they're in the air, um, the fish don't really have um, like any threat to you, but shoot. But when they're in the water, that's when they start swimming around and they hurt you. That one's gonna pop out of a block. Yep, of course, it's another fish. Why wouldn't it be? If there's water, there must be fish. Also mandatory. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> Pokey's kind of a, kind of a trap there, but you know it is the Sandy Shrine, so it makes sense. Hence why they're mandatory for the shrines. Uh, you, oh, oh, get up, get up. Okay, <laughs> don't spin jump here if you're big. Oh boy, luckily I'm small. <laughs> yeah, okay. Eh, careful. Oh boy, I got almost got squished by that light blue pipe. Go, 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 go! <laughs> and... Actually, it's probably better being small here, come to think of it. Because of the... Yeah, like here, I could just stand underneath it, otherwise I'd have to duck underneath it. Uh, here, you gotta watch where the platform is coming from. I mean, I should say where it's going, because otherwise you'll get touched by the spikes, and that won't be pretty. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> that worked out. It worked out. Things are good. Things are golden. Also sandy. Uh, I just wanted to make sure there was, wasn't any plant coming. <laughs> don't touch the ground. It's for too long here. Just keep... I should say, don't stop stop moving for too long here. Midpoints. Yes! That went pretty smoothly. And... Yep. Mm, Dino Rhino's return. Maybe this is a shrine to them. Ooh. This is nice. Very nice. Bloop, bloop. Um, you gotta sort of duck jump to get through here. If you're big, I think. Uh, I'm gonna wait for that to move in, otherwise I could get the, the glitch. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this pops back in, yeah. Why was I jumping the gun there? <laughs> I'm cer certainly glad that wasn't going upwards. I mean, it wasn't that one of those ones that split upwards. The shell didn't hit you? What? What? <laughs> it was holding in front of me. Oh, forget it. Oh, there's a ceiling there! <laughs> I guess that's one of the many traps of this shine. That oh, freaking no, shine, I remember. <laughs> I'm glad I know the ceiling is there now, but. I guess I should have tested the waters before uh, uh, moving on ahead. <laughs> also, be be careful of a very long hallway here because it's it's gonna squish you. Yeah, I think it's coming up too. I don't remember exactly where it is, but when you see a long two square hallway, just run, 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 run. Now wait for a block to pop up. Good, good, good. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Uh, I think this is it. I think this is it. I made it. Now watch. Yep. The whole thing is a squish trap. Oh. Dang you and your immunity to shells being held. Or maybe they're immune to shells altogether. I'm not sure. The game's making me question the Dino Rhino's physics. <laughs> anyway, that wasn't too bad of a run, I have to say. Especially with all the traps in this place. Don't despawn mushroom, please. I thought maybe it would be better being small, as I said, with the um, traps and stuff around the areas. Because, you know, when you're smaller, it makes it easier to get through said tight places. <laughs> yeah. The Dino Rhino had just as much speed as I did. Oh, I didn't jump late enough. I knew the ceiling was there, and I didn't jump late enough, and no pooper, pooper, no <laughs> But I, I think that Dino Rhino 
was out to get me with its speed as I was blasting blocks. But all it didn't get me. Spike got me. <laughs> Spikes are another thing that are mandatory for shrines. What? What? I was above it. Are you gonna give me trouble now, game physics? Are you? Are you? That's probably a yes. <sighs> Come on, spawn, spawn, there you go. <laughs> I knew it was there, it just wasn't popping out. I got a better run through this place the first time somehow. <laughs> oh, now I'm falling down here. Yep, definitely had a better run the first time somehow. Probably due to impatience now. Get, get out of my way. I think that's probably the better way to do it. It's not rush and try and double hit the block. I mean, uh, get through the block on the first run. Just like hit the block, go back to the center, then go back to the block. Okay, there we go. I knew there's a ceiling. Good. And okay, I timed that well, so I didn't really have to go back to the center. Now I have to wait for the blocks. <laughs> and go, go, go. You kind of want to be a little bit ahead, just so that you don't like, like you aren't rushing things, because rushing things could cause panic. Panic could cause slip-ups. Yeah. Come on, move it. We lose it. Whoop. Actually, a block can't lose much. I mean, I guess it could be chipped, but I don't think it's gonna affect the trap very much here. Go, go, go. Long corridor, go, 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 go. <laughs> okay. Ah. I'm sure I hit the jump button. I'm sure I did. Like, I, I knew it wasn't gonna be hurt by the shell, but I thought I hit the jump button, but no. No, just didn't register for me. I'm afraid. No. <sighs> Okay, moving on. <laughs> Just gotta... Mm. Oh, this is gonna be a big Dino Rhino segment, isn't it? Isn't it? Because this has got a lot of jumping holes for them. Yep! Bloop. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just gonna move. Despawn it. And this... I think this looks like one of the doors from Bubsy, too. You know, on the... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It looks kind of like it. He gives the curvy shape to it. <gasps> it's another boss area. That's not actually a boss. <gasps> There's something up here. Uh, one up, okay. <laughs> uh, you can go back in, but you can't really actually go back in. It's just there, I guess. <laughs> All right, here we go. Koopas are an obstacle in this shrine. Well, actually, there is a boss, but it's it's not like. Tra you don't like transport to it immediately. It's down this corridor here. I like that uh, portal boot to despawn because it's Wendy, and I gotta watch out for plants because that could be an issue. I should probably like stand here because it'll stop this one from spawning. Then I just wait for Wendy to appear next to me. Whoops, I got too far off the pipe and it popped up. Whoa! I win. However, there's a secret exit, so I haven't completely beat this level. <laughs> and now we have a cutscene that veterans of Super Mario World will find relatively familiar. Yes, Window Washer Mario can clean up the castle. <laughs> Finally, with when the Okuba defeated, Mario now reaches the entrance to Bowser's Valley which will undoubtedly be a tough challenge for him. Let's find out what Bowser has in store. Yes, let's. But later, because I, I kind of need a cape to get to the secret eggs of this place. <laughs> iceberg number two, yeah, finally. Number two of the iceberg family. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to the top secret area. It's a long way back. Well, I guess on the way back I could strategize about the secret exit of the shrine it's right near the beginning and what you need to do is you need to fly into the pipe that 
that comes smashing down, like the first pipe that comes smashing down. And the, the trick to that is if the pipe is coming down, you can't seem to get inside the pipe. <laughs> so chances are, if you don't rush the, to get inside the pipe, you're not going to be able to get inside the pipe. <laughs> So, right at the start, rush up to the pipe and do like a spin fly and press up at the pipe. Well, hold up at the pipe and try and get in. The reason why you want to spin fly is because you can sort of skim the edge of the pipe uh, rather than doing a regular fly, which would just make you bounce off the pipe and your timing would be, I should say, your angle of approach is a lot more... Uh, a lot more tight because, you know, it's kind of tricky to get in pipes every so often. Um, if you touch the edge and yeah, yeah, so that is my plan. Got it? Good. So, Sandy Shrine, part two. I don't even have to press L and R to get back in because the pyramid does not collapse. Get ready to run and get in there. That's the pipe you want to go in. But beware. Oh, I was still flying there. Yeah, you can, you still have a little bit of flight when you go inside a pipe while you're flying. It's a sort of kind of glitch. But yeah, secret exit, really, really close to the uh, beginning, so yeah. On, get ready, get ready. Finally, a shortcut back to the top secret area. After all this time and all that walking back. Finally. I don't know if I want to do Iceberg number two now because it's it's kind of a tough level, and I and it's also long and I've already ah eh, you know what fine I'll do it <laughs> against my better judgment Iceberg number two let's do it oh yeah we're going in to the frigid waters that affect Mario okay they don't affect Mario in the slightest what am I talking about games don't have logic. <laughs> So it's auto scrolling. Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! It's gonna wake. Yep, the Rip Van Fish. Dang the charging chucks! And through the whole level, they're gonna be swarming me whenever they pop out. So I probably am best having some sort of power up through the thing, if at all possible. Otherwise, I'm gonna be dancing with the fish, and it's not going to be pretty. Uh, yeah, Poke Puffers. Uh, they keep floating up, so once you're underneath them, they aren't like a threat anymore unless you have to swim up to where they are and I'm gonna try and get that rip fan fish behind the wall stuck possibly so it stops moving forward good very good yeah if you don't have power-ups to take care of the rip fan fish it's it's sort of an issue that you gotta oh jeez gotta contend with and I tried to spin but I failed to spin but that's okay it's still much more level to go. There we go. See, I can spin. I can spin like the best of ballerinas. And move it. Move it. Move it. Go up there. Go up somewhere safe. Yes. Ooh. I didn't know what I was supposed to do there. <laughs> it was getting kind of tight. Alright. Now I'm small. Don't mess up. Don't mess up, because you don't want to restart an, auto an auto-scroll segment, if at all possible. Good. Good. Oh, go, 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 go! <laughs> Whenever you see a sumo brother, just go. Go. What are those for? Can you, like, fly up there? Maybe. Probably. It's probably like a shortcut of sorts. Or it's a punishment area for if you fall down. Probably works in both ways. Yeah, that's because that's where the paths lead. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, that was a roulette thing. What? They're usually in clear blocks. Why? I guess they can be in those blocks too in this game. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna take care of you just to make it safer if I fall down. Not sure if I'm going to fall down at this point, but it's always possible. No, nah, I think it's all blocked in. Yeah, okay. Whoa! <laughs> Careful. 
Maybe I should be up here rather than on the stairs, because stairs and jumping Koopas, they are a perfect team. <laughs> they, they, they are a difficult obstacle to get past. And midpoint! But the second half is what will probably get you. And is what is so tricky about this level, because you got you got the Poke Puffer, but you, you think you would know how to deal with this, right? Well, you actually gotta go under the Poke Puffer. Yeah! <laughs> this can prove to be quite an issue. Oh shoot, issue. I wanted to get ahead of it, because I knew the tide was gonna go up, and then it was gonna come back down. Yeah. Oh! That's nice. Although, it won't help me versus the Poke Puffer. Okay, I gotta somehow get it around it. Shoot! <laughs> it, the, the issue with the Poke Puffer is they, they follow the screen and... Yeah! I wish I had a cape. Oh, no! <laughs> I was gonna say I could use the shell, but not anymore! Go on there, go on there, okay. <laughs> Can I kill it off here? Oh, yeah! Okay. Unfortunately, it will possibly respawn. Possibly, maybe. Maybe. Glad the urchins stay out of the water, like they don't follow, follow the water or anything like that, so that's a possible chance to despawn them. And yeah, this is looking nice. Bloop. Yeah, alright. Good. Things are looking well. By the way, I think this is based off of that one jumping Koopa segment in the uh, original Super Mario World. You know, that level that had a whole load of jumping Koopas in it from start to finish, well, nearly start to finish. Mm, yeah, possibly, could be, might be. I'm gonna go under you, because you're jumping super high. And not bad. This went pretty smoothly. Like, really smoothly. Unbelievably smoothly. Can I get past this without touching it? Yeah! <laughs> There's no point in doing that, but just wanted to do it fun challenge of a jump, I guess you could say. Level completed! No dramatic music. How sad. How sad. But in any case, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.